Hi guys, welcome back. Welcome to any new tires that we have with us. Um, so what I'm going to do tonight is to tie a steel head uh, fly. Uh, now this one I like the look of. This is uh, the fifth element by uh, Mike Dakota. Uh, so I have in a previous video made the shank and uh, if you want to go looking for that you can. So uh, this is about a what 30 mil shank or so. Uh, now you can use intruder wire or what I'm going to use here is 25 pound maxima uh, as the loop. So I'm going to fold that over and then take a pair of needle nose pliers and just gently squeeze the loop so that it can accept a hook. So we now have a fold. So we're going to take our tying thread and put it on the front part of our shank and then I'm going to come back here onto the rear. And once you start tightening all up that will uh, strengthen and solidify the whole shank thing up on you. What I would say to you is uh, be careful that uh, the cut ends of the wires can uh, cut your, your tying thread as you go. So we're going to set on our loop and have it out the back there roughly the length of your intended intruder hook We'll tie these other loose ends forward and then come back. And the idea here is that I'm trying to get one strand of the nylon or intruder wire, whatever you're using, into the, the gap between the two uh, wires and that'll hold them directly on each side. Take a bit of super glue and we'll just glue that whole process to strengthen it and then wrap into the glue and these two ends here then we're going to fold back underneath or on top whichever side they've decided to go to fold them back trim them off. So mount ready to tie on. So uh, next what we want to do is get a set of uh, heavy dumbbell eyes and those are going to go at the rear of the fly. So we'll take this down here, flip the shank over and then with figure of eight turns get those dumbbells affixed here at the rear. And again, uh, a bit of super glue just to hold the whole thing together, stop it slipping. And then I'm going to take a blue Sort of angel hair type dubbing. We'll get that onto our thread, create our dubbing loop or dubbing rope, and then again, figure of eight, turn behind, figure of eight over, under, figure of eight in front. And that'll create. 
create a sort of rear head of sorts, I suppose. We need a bit more, we can put more on. So, next portion is uh, a pearl section. You can use a, a braid. Uh, in this case, what I'm going to use here is like a, a fine pearl type braid. And I'm going to fold this over itself several times to get, say, four thicknesses here. Now you can use just something like a pearl mylar or a diamond braid. So I have four thicknesses here. I'm going to take my loop and catch it around my tie-in thread. So it now slides. That'll slide right into our tie-in point there. And then we're going to come forward about two-thirds of the way up the shank. Um, and the reason for that is there's a lot of stuff to go on the front of this fly. I'm just going to super glue that, or varnish. And then I'll wrap this pearl braid into that while it's wet. When I get to there, I'll tie it in on the top of my shank. Two turns, fold it back and cut it off. Now you'll see now the reason I use this stuff. Um, because if you use your uh, diamond braid or mylar or something like that, you can then brush it out to create this underwing effect. But in this instance, I now have eight strands of like a pearl as an underwing. So, um, next, what we want to do is to take a Kingfisher Blue type uh, Arctic Fox. I'm going to take a bunch of that. some of the under fur out of that and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out the guard hairs from it and keep them to one side and then we're going to tie this in as like a, a wing so we'll hold that there on top Tie that in. Trim that. And then we'll take the yard hairs and tie them in on the top of it. That's like a longer wing, so what I'm going to do there is I'm going to trim that. And then I'm going to take my super glue, dip just the very end of that in super glue. I'm going to set that on the cut end of this hair and tie that down. And then I'm going to take a mirage here. So, what I have here is like a pinky bluey mirage. So we take six strands of that roughly. I'm going to tie that in longer than our fox here. So I'm going to tie that on the near side to me. Then I'm going to fold it across and tie it back on the far side. And then again, that should be roughly the same length. So, we'll just neaten that up. Back to our time point there. And what we're going to do now is to put in uh, like a collar of uh, like a purple fox. So again, Arctic Fox, uh, and this time what we're going to do is we're going to use the under fur and not the uh, not the yard hair. So we'll take our bunch of fox, 
get the very short underfur out of it as it'll only create bulk without any extra movement. Then we grab it by the base, grab this on the yard hairs and pull. And these are our yard hairs. This is uh, our underfur. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to grab it by the tips and then pull out a few times and relayer itself so that uh, it makes me a nice even sort of a hackle. So we're going to offer up the uh, purple fox bunch and let it envelop all the way around the shank. Get on a loose loop. Bite that down. So once it's on we need to brush it to even the whole thing out all around and that's creating like a fake hackle or a hackle out of uh, fur. Then trim that off for a bit of security I'm going to super glue a couple of inches of the thread there and just wrap over this tie-in point Okay, so next uh, we want a li little bit of uh, like a purple angel hair type stuff. So have here a little bit of that. So I'll straighten the, the fibers out, tie that in across its middle, fold it back. Brush that into our wing. So the original fly, I think, had a Senyo laser dub. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a Future Fly uh, M Purple Signature dubbing as a substitute for that. take a bunch of that and I'm just going to align the fibers in it and stick one clump on top a turn will hold it in place take the other half of my bunch I'm going to set that underneath and do the same again a couple of turns and then we can fold this back okay so now we're going to tie in a golden pheasant uh, fibers as a as like again like a hackle I suppose. So if we take a golden pheasant tail um find a bit on the tail where the fibers probably aren't sticking together so well uh, otherwise they will start to clump on you. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold them. So I'm taking a bunch here and there could be sort of ten or so fibers in this. I'm going to tie that in on the top here, pointing forward. I'm going to take my other bunch, similar size bunch, flip my vice over do the same there and then I'm going to take a couple of smaller bunches and do one on either side I'm just sort of pinch looping them into position and then I will 
separate them out sort of and then just fold them back and tie over their bases and that should give you a more controlled way of creating that uh, sort of spay type fake hack. Now uh, we want uh, another bit of holographic sort of flash in the wing of that so I'm going to use a strand of like a fuchsia or purple holographic tinsel so I've got uh, four well, two long strands so when that's doubled it becomes four match the tips cut the loop so I now have four strands I'll put that on here out to the length of the previous ones and then these tag ends I'm just going to fold back so then essentially there's eight strands going over the top and that gives like a very mobile flashy top wing to this so a bit of security again a little bit of super glue on half an inch or so of thread two turns that'll hold everything in place and now we're going to tie in a spay type pack of black uh, this is a cock pheasant rump feather that is dyed black so do is find the center of it stroke these other bits back tie it in just across the very tip of the stalk and fold it back on itself and then we'll just wrap this but you notice that I'm wrapping it I'm pulling it through my finger and thumb and that is folding all of the lower edge fibers behind the leading edge and essentially doubling the hackle as we wrap it so now when it comes around to me on the last turn I'll tie over it and tie it off so now we're going to go for another uh, synthetic black dubbin so I suppose something like SLF um, and we're going to line the fibres of it and tie in a clump on the top of the shank and the same again underneath the shank fold that back on itself and then just glue wrap just to secure that and we'll brush that out I suppose this fly is about layering and to finish it we'll finish it off uh, with a couple of jungle cock feathers so we'll go one on the near side hold that in position so these are going on at what say nine o'clock and three o'clock Maybe even a little bit above it, 10 and 2, if you thought of it as a clock face. I'm looking at it from the top just to see are they matching for length. This one's slightly longer, so I'll just pull it forward by a mill. When I'm happy with them in position, I'll take a few wraps over it to fix it. And then 
I'll just fold back the two bases, hold it back, and then we'll trim off these. Super glue again. I'm just going to glue a couple of inches of my thread, hold all this back, and then we'll make a nice, hopefully neat, head. Whip finish it. If you use a whip finish tool, I use my fingers. is awfully tight. So all that remains for that is to varnish the head. Um, so I'm going to varnish that with um, a magenta type varnish. Just because I like the colour of it. You could use a purple, you could use purple thread, whatever you want. So that's our fly. What that needs now is obviously an intruder style hook put onto that when it comes to fish it. It'll get another coat of clear varnish uh, whenever this one, the coloured one, dries up. Uh, so that's our fly tied, the fifth element, uh, steelhead fly. So if you liked what you've seen, then like, subscribe, uh, follow me on Facebook. Uh, I tie all manner of different sorts of flies. Uh, and until next time, tight lines and thanks for watching.